who controls the web? The spider controls the web. And the spider is, is, is at a level that you never see. It's not Tony Blair. He's a, he's a strand. The Bush family, they're a strand. Even the Rockefellers are a strand. The real power that's manipulating all this, you never see it operates from the shadows. Um, and uh, so it's operating to a, 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 a central dictating policy. And this is why you're seeing um, the same things happen in all different countries at the same time. It's because the uh, orders and the policy are coming from a central point. We can work on the level of banking scams, political scams, manipulated wars, manipulated 9-11s. And we should, because we need to know that. But if that's all we're doing in terms of communicating knowledge, then basically we're operating in a cycle of this is the problem, but how the hell do we get out of this? We will never know how to set ourselves free until we understand the nature of who we bloody well are. How do you set yourself free when you don't even know who you are? How do you set yourself free when you don't even know the nature of reality that you're living in and manifesting and making happen without your knowledge that you're making it happen? You can't. So alongside the information about um, you know, the five sense level of this conspiracy, if you like, we have to, um, just as powerfully, I would say more powerfully, communicate the nature of reality and, and how, we, how we are creating our reality and how we are allowing it to be created for us by having ourselves programmed with certain beliefs, certain perceptions and all the rest of it all the time. Uh, the two must go together, otherwise, you know, we're never going to get out of this. If I, if, I, if I tell you that, that, that that's a computer and you are infinite consciousness, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. I'm telling you what you've forgotten. Because what happens is you come into this world and, and with this knowledge suppressed, it's like someone once said, you imagine you come into the world and someone tells you that two and two equals five. Your parents tell you that from the earliest age, two and two equals five. You then go to kindergarten and nice teachers tell you that two and two equals five. You then go to school and teachers at junior school, senior school, they tell you two and two equals five. By now, all your mates who've been through the same system, they're telling you two and two equals five and if you say it equals four, they laugh at you. You then go to university and professors with letters after the name, stashes, they say two and two equals five, you know. Oh, no, he was four. No, I've been doing this 50 years. I've met all the best brains in the world. He was five. That boy will not go far. And then you turn the telly on and somebody's going, oh, good evening, two and two equals five. Now the weather, right? Um, there's a good chance that you'll go through the whole of your life believing two and two equals five, but still equals four. And when, and what this information about the nature of reality is doing, basically is saying, do you remember two and two, four? Oh, yes. And this is why this has such an impact on people. When they, are, uh, they, they hear it, they, something goes, this is true. I, 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 this is true. Because they're remembering it. We are in a world in which the vast majority of the population is in an amnesic state. They are in a hypnotic trance because they have been implanted with false um, information about themselves and the, world, and the world ever since they arrived. All freedom is our natural and eternal right not the gift of some dark suit or uniform to decide if it's going to give it to us or not. And so this is also not a day for being intimidated and frightened by this big brother crap 
and all these goons in uniform who seek to impose someone else's will upon us. It's just about exposing the way they're seeking to enslave us so we can see the game and therefore not play it. In fact, my uh, attitude to Big Brother can be summed up thus. Oh, Big Brother, Big Brother, oh my God! God, sod that for a lot. Thank you.